Hi everybody, this is Rob with Aquatic Facility Training Ottawa. This is the second part of my video on the Hayward Acrorite systems. In the first one I showed you how to um, reset your inspect cell light and why it comes on. In this one I just want to go through the actual settings in the control system so that you understand exactly what it's doing. So as we all know when you have your swimming pool you have to keep the water balanced. If you look inside the door of your actual unit, and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, down here, these are the recommended guidelines for your water chemistry. All right, And it includes the guidelines for how much salt did you need to have in there, which in this case, if it would uh, focus, that would be nice. In this case, it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to say 2700 to 3400 parts per million and you should be checking that value on a monthly basis if not more often. So, as you can see right now, the only lights that we have on in our system is the green showing that we have power and the green showing that we're generating chlorine. The switch itself is in the auto position which is where it's going to spend most of its life and our dial setting is set at about 30 percent uh, for generation. Now it's important that you keep in mind that that 30 percent is not that the cell is running at 30 percent. The cell always runs at 100 percent but for 30 percent of the time. So that means if every hour that you're running your pump, 18 minutes, this cell is running at 100 percent in order to provide you your chlorine. So now let's just go through the diagnostic. So if we zoom in on this a little bit, we're going to look at our control panel. Now on the control panel right now it's saying that it's showing 3200 parts per million of salt. So that's right inside our range which is awesome. But the thing is that this is an average salt reading. So this is based over readings that this machine has taken over the last 24 hours. So if you add salt in the morning and you come and check it in the afternoon, it may not represent on the front screen. And that's what this part of the video is for. So over here we have our diagnostics button. If we push it once, the display changes from our average salt reading over 24 hours to the temperature of our swimming pool. So right now it's showing that our pool is, set at 80, is sitting at 86 degrees. And that temperature is the water actually going through the cell that it's reading. Now, if you're not a Fahrenheit person, which I am, if you, can, if you want it in Celsius, you switch the uh, selector to superchlorinate and back, and you see that it's switched over to 30 degrees Celsius. All right. Now, keep in mind, everything is going to switch over to metric, not just the temperature. So there's our metric reading for our average salt, which is 3.2 milligrams per, per, uh, for, per liter. So I don't want that. I'm going to come back over here again up to superchlorinate and back and it goes back into Fahrenheit for me. If I push the button one more time we have 23.7. That is the amount of volts that are going through the cell right now. Push it one more time 6.25 is the amount of amps going through the cell. One more time and that's our production. So when we change this dial as you can see our reading changes. So if you're an OCD person like I am and you need to have it at exactly 30, then we can set it at 30% exactly. Now, the next thing is, if you put the system on superchlorinate, you'll notice that that goes up to 100%. So it's going to run on the superchlorinate cycle for 24 hours at 100%, and then it's going to drop back down to its regular um, percentage after that period of time. But you still need to come and switch the button down. A lot of people don't do that. So we go to the next screen. You'll see a minus and our reading for our salt right that we saw on the front screen. This is the instant salt reading. So let's say that you had an issue, you did a big backwash or you had an algae outbreak and you had to drain a lot of water, add some in and then add more salt you can wait till the salt is dissolved and thoroughly mixed through the pool coming into the instant salt reading and by setting this to superchlorinate and back it's going to change the reading on the home screen to whatever this number is. So we go back over here 
AL0 is the type of boxes this is. All right. R1.59 is the software revision so that we know how uh, our, our system, how current our system is. T15, that is the size of our turbo cell that we have hooked on this system. Let's say that we didn't have a T15, let's say that we could only find say a T cell 9. If the T cell 9 is an adequate cell for your particular pool, we can go and put it to superchlorinate and cycle through the different size T cells till we get to the appropriate one that you're using. All right. If we put, if we're set up as a T15 and we're only running a T cell 9, we're going to get crazy salt readings. So we'll come back over here and we'll switch it back to T15 because that's what our cell is. And then the last time we push it, it brings us back to our home screen. So that's how you scroll through the diagnostics, what they do for you, what they tell you, and how they help you uh, keep everything up to date.